there, everyone. Pink Lady here with Pink Lady Presents. I love my job. I mean, if someone said to me, do you really like what you're doing? I would say, are you kidding me? Look at my face. Look at my energy level is, is up when I do it because I meet so many phenomenal people and talented ones. And today is no different. Sitting beside me is a lovely, lovely young lady, Bridget Brady. And now, Bridget, is that an Irish or English? Well, what is that? It is, right? it is Irish. The I whole did. thing is Bridget Colleen Brady. I really do. So uh, when I was reading your bio, it said that you went to 28 different schools and moved 53 times. No one does that. How did you do that and why did you do it? Okay, so I was a DJ brat. Okay, um, tell you know, everybody what a DJ is. All right, I mean. so um, you've heard military brat, right? Yes. So I was a DJ brat, and my father was a disc jockey. Okay. And um, you, you probably know this. I don't know if you know this, audience. <laughs> so radio stations are owned by big corporations. Right. And so disc jockeys, unless they're famous, they're moved from station to station to station to station to oh, station. I didn't so know that. we were moved all over the country. You moved to LA. Mm -hmm. When was that? 18 years ago. And why did you move to LA? So I moved to LA. I was doing theater in New York. I also, I, I have, there's so many things we can get into. I also was working on Wall Street in New oh, York. Oh, what did so you was, do on Wall Street? Wait, that, I like that. <laughs> so, what did you do on Wall Street? I was a software developer, an IT software developer. Wow. So, You're um, not just a pretty face. I'm not just a pretty face. <laughs> okay. Um, so I was Wall Street by day, theater by night, and ah. I did that for 10 years. And okay. I, you know, I loved it and I hated it and, you know, good, bad, you know how right, life is. Right, right. And then I really wanted to do film and television. And at the time, my career coach, Gwen Gillis, who's amazing, right. she was like, you keep saying you want to do film and television, but you're in New York City. So, like, <laughs> that's cute of you. Right. But, like, but you got to go. You got to go. West. Yes. Right. So um, that was it. I just, I literally, like, picked up in one second, and I moved wow. to Los Angeles 18 years ago and did film and did fe uh, television and got really focused on my music career and okay. also again so many things to talk about became an entrepreneur started like my own company you, no, well, tell us about that so i didn't i don't like waiting tables i've done it and so i said you know i'm going to become an entrepreneur and i'm going to get uh, you know, leave corporate America right. and start my own company so that I can do more things that I'm passionate about. And what was the name of the company? My company is called Amp Up My Biz. Oh. And it's an on, it's a full service online marketing company. Okay. And we help other businesses grow their business. So how does someone reach you for that? Ampupmybiz.com. There you go. <laughs> I love simple, it. Simple, simple. Well, not only that, you are an author. I am an yes, and, and the name of the book, I have to tell you, it is really, really cute. It's called Jobs to Jammies, and it says, get out of your J.O.B and be a work in your PJs entrepreneur. I really wanted to give people like a step-by-step -step right. how to, for people not to vilify jobs, right? right a lot of people right. love their job, but to give people an option to, okay. if they don't love their job, there's so many other ways to make money in this world. Okay, but... And especially instance, in this country. For instance, can you give a couple of tips, at least two or three tips to people out there that are in a position that they want to do something different, they are tired of their particular job, where do they even start from? Okay, sure. All right, so one, tip one, would be make a list of all the things that you are passionate about yes. and make a list of all the things you're really good at ah. and see what crosses over. <laughs> and then you want to keep in mind okay. what people will pay for, right? Like what the marketplace will pay for. You want to bear that in mind. Okay. And then two, and this is actually sort of like a rewind tip, but... I always tell people, do not leave your job, your J-O-B, right. until in your entrepreneurial endeavors, you're making at least half of what you make in your job. Good point. And then make the switch. And then yes. the transition can happen. 
you also did something that uh, I think is fun. You were on Saturday Night Live. That was years and years ago in New York City, right? Okay. So the one, the one piece of film and television that I did in New okay. York City before I came to LA, I was in a mango sketch. With uh, in the mango sketch, Rob Lowe oh. was the host, and uh, honestly, it was fabulous. And Rob Lowe is amazing. Yeah. Rob Lowe yeah. is so like grounded and I down know. to earth. So you've learned a lot from then. Yeah. To now. <laughs> I have learned a lot from then to now. Yes. So that you have also a, um, a new album out, yes. is what we're going to hear from, I think, today. That is correct. And this is Bridget Brady, Choose to Forgive. Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube Music, Google wow. Play. Are you listening out there? <laughs> <laughs> and then um, they can get all the all of the links okay. are on my website Great. at BridgetBrady.com. BridgetBrady.com. Yes, to make okay. your life easy, BridgetBrady.com. We will be right back with Bridget Brady singing a few songs from her album, Choose to Forgive. We're back with a delightful, talented lady, Bridget Brady, and you know Bridget, what was the middle name again? Colleen. Colleen. So it's Bridget Colleen <laughs> Brady. I tell you, you need all the build-up because you are fabulous. So you're in for a surprise. We're in for a delightful day. God bless. Let's hear it. All right. So this first song is really about, I actually wrote it while my boyfriend was out of town, and he likes to say it's his song, but it is not. Um, it's really about calling love back into your life, whether that's your love that's out of town or unrequited love, but it's really about standing where you are and uh, calling your love back to you. You call yourself a rambling man, but I know you're not. You belong right here in your favorite spot. With my head resting gently on your chest. Well, you can't chase the money, chase that big brass ring But without love, it don't mean a thing Let my love bring you home Let my love bring you home You know that it's where you want to be Let my love bring you home Wrap those sweet, strong arms around me Well you've seen the world Yeah you've seen it all But sometimes you forget to come And leave me all alone For far too long So I move on And do my own thing I won't scream, I won't cry I'll just start to sing Let my love bring you home Let my love bring you home You know that Let my love bring you home Wrap those sweet strong arms around me When you're finally home you begin to cry You know I'm gonna ask you why You say sometimes when you're gone you forget just how it is to be in my arms Look in my eyes and feel my charms Let my love bring you home Let my love bring you home You know that it's where you want to be Let my love bring you home Wrap those sweet strong Let my love bring you home You know that it's where you want to be Let my love bring you home Wrap those sweet strong arms around me Wrap your sweet 
struggles around me. Oh, wow. Love it. 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 This next song was before I met my boyfriend, I was single for five years. And so I decided to try online dating. And I went on the 50 worst dates that any human could go on. And there was one great thing that came out of those 50 horrible dates, and it was this song. <laughs> your money when you don't care about my heart don't treat me like a person you think i'm just a piece of art as long as i keep my mouth shut we'll get along fine you seem so ambitious and i've got too much drive i think you're an old man and i'm still alive you don't like it when i'm funny well guess what this is who i am can keep your games and you can stop in your flirting if it's all the same cause if you're my choice I'd rather be alone you wanna know my body but you don't wanna know my mind you put your hands all over me but won't look me in the eye you say I've got too many rules you just can't understand Keep your lines and you can keep your games and you can put that thing away if it's all the same. Cause if you're my choice, I'd rather be alone. That's been my whole life searching for love, it's true. Selfish little boys are all I seem to find. I just keep wondering where can you be? A world of rip is out there looking for me. I don't wanna be alone, but I won't choose you. I just keep looking, nothing else to do. And you're my choice. I'd rather be alone. Well, you can keep your lines and you can keep your games and you can stop in your flirting cause you're all the same man. If you're my choice, I'd rather be alone. Why don't you just go home? Please delete me from your phone. I said I'd rather be alone. Is that the truth? Yes, 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 yes. Wow. All I can say is, all I can say is, <laughs> you're not only talented, a beautiful woman, but I mean, your voice, I just love it. And your songwriting. Thank you. I mean, this is not like from a Broadway musical. No. I mean, this is yours, original. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, you see what you can do with talent, especially someone like you. Really, thank you so oh very, very much, thank you Bridget. So much. We'll see you soon. God bless. Thank you. I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh 